Hi everyone, uh, my name is Daniel Walter Scott. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor with Bring Your Own Laptop. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some um, power tips for super users. For um, uh, it's to do with Photoshop layers. Um, if you were like me and you work on documents, then you're having quite a few layers. Um, things like website skins, okay, or large montages, where you end up with just loads of layers. Check out these. Okay, so this is just loads and loads and loads of layers. And you'll notice that um, I'm guilty of not naming many of these things. Okay, it's just mainly for speed. Okay, and I'm the only one working on it, so I don't end up naming them. But it does make it hard when you're trying to work on a layer. You're not too sure which one to work with. Okay, so and this little these little tricks will help you kind of work nice and fast. So the first one is using your move tool. Okay, um, and what you're going to do is you're going to hold down a shortcut key. It's Command on a Mac or Control on a PC. So I'll hold down Command on my Mac here. If I uh, click on any layer now, can you see it jumps to this layer in the Layers panel? Okay, now I'm working on this one. Say if I want to work on this layer. Okay, and it jumps around to whatever layer. Okay, you click on. So holding down the Command key on a Mac or Control key on a PC just allows you to click on a layer and allows you to jump on there and start moving things around. Okay, so that's a nice little quick one. And the next one is if you end up with something like, uh, say something like this happens where you've got an object above your text in the background and you can't really get to it. You can't hold that little trick I just showed you. You can't get to the edges and you can't work out which layer it is. Um, a nice little trick is using the move tool is right clicking. So if I right click it, okay, you can see it's picked the layer that's on the top. Okay, it's also picked the shape layer that's underneath it, this white box here. And then there is that, that's the layer I wanted to get to, the web design courses. Okay, and I click on that layer, I'm able to move that one around. So that's just an easy right click. If I want to get to this blue box behind this white text here, I can right click and see the text that's on the top, there's a shape layer here that I can work on and move around without the text. So that's a nice easy one, especially when you've got lots of things piled on top of each other and you just you can't actually get to it using the um, uh, command click or control click on a PC. Okay. Um, uh, and that's it for, and th those, those shortcuts work on pretty much any version. They work on, they work on CS6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all of them, okay? And these last group of layer tricks only works on CS6, so some cool little adjustments in the um, layers panel for CS6. And um, one of them is, I quite like, is uh, say that I do have to rename my layers. I'm going to rename these guys over here. Okay, and I, I don't end up renaming layers if I um, if I end up having to send them to someone and I want to kind of look at a nice little professional file or yeah, I'm sending a template off to somebody else to work with or a web designer to uh, fulfill this kind of skin that I've made and I want to kind of name all my layers. So the, the trick is uh, up until CS6 what you have to do is you'd click on, click on a layer, you'd give it a name, okay, and then you'd have to go through and click on the next one. Okay, so that whole clicking on the next one can take forever. Okay, so going back and forth, clicking the next one. So in CS6, what they've started to do, um, what they allow you to do is before you click enter, okay, well, I'm just typing this Photoshop layer here. If I hit tab, it tabs down to the next one, okay, and it allows me to, yeah, really quickly go through there and name all the layers. What about to Dreamweaver? Okay, without having to um, use my mouse and go through and have to click them all. So just tabbing through. So double click the first one. Okay, and then tab through, and will allow you to tab through all of your lists and name them all. Quite a really handy one. Um, the next one for C6 is to do with searching your layers. Okay, there's a couple of tricks. Um, uh, you can, there's this little bar on here on C6 now, you can do things like searching by name. So I can type anything that has a layer with the word course in it. Okay, and it's gone through and picked everything that has the word course um, in any of those text boxes. Okay, so or any of the layer names. So, um, that's a cool little extra function. Okay, if you know what names you want, there's a group of names you want to kind of just deal with, you can do that. Another one is you can work on kind. Okay, so instead of name, which allows you to type, you can go into you can go into kind. Okay, and if I go to kind here, I can decide to work on ones that have uh, say just the ones that have uh, adjustment layers. So just one working into adjustment layers or just the text layers. That's a handy one. So it's only going to give me my text layers that I can work on, well, quite a few, or my shape layers. Okay, so um, you can, yeah, turn them on and off, combine them up. So text layers that have shape layers, weird. Okay, but um, yeah, a nice little trick to go through and, and searching. There's a few other ones. You can search ones that have effects, ones that have certain layer modes. I haven't found those particularly useful yet, yeah, yet but definitely kind and name is a great little way of searching layers. All right, so... Um, 
Uh, that's it, so you've got four little tips there. One's the move tool and holding down the command key on your Mac or control key on your PC, okay, and clicking on layers. The other one is right clicking, okay, and you can toggle through all the layers that you've got through the list, okay, and the um, newer ones that are CSX only. You can search by name or search by kind. All right, uh, my name's Daniel Walter Scott. I am an Adobe certified instructor for Bring Your Own Laptop. And um, for more tips, join us on our Facebook page. We are facebook.com slash bring your own laptop, one word. Or you can track me on Twitter. Um, my Twitter handle is uh, Dan Loves Adobe. Okay, and um, that's it. Thank you very much.